I've done a number of projects over the year that have addressed environmental issues. And those could be pretty bleak, but it's always been important for me to also do things that are sheerly beautiful. Part of my work has been political, but part of my work has celebrated the great, what I think the miracle of photography. I think it's just a remarkable medium, so powerful, so poignant. We take it for granted because we, we use it on Instagrams, We've, it's been in the daily newspaper. But what, what a way of grasping the world. So one of the things that's really interesting about this series is I began photographing in 2007. And it's called the Icarus Project. And the reason is, is that that great myth um, of Icarus where this boy flies too close to the sun and his wings melt and he crashes to the sea. And uh, it was from a great Bruegel painting. And I just love the idea that, that these guys go out to this place called Sandy Beach. They're crashing in one foot of surf. It's really dangerous. People get hurt all the time. Um, people have died there, but they go out anyway. They're kind of like Icarus. It's the same idea. And this was an early photograph where you can see this guy. It looks like he's plunging to the earth, just like Icarus did in the Bruegel painting. I started photographing this in 2007, went back in 2010, 2019, planned to go back one or two more times. I need time to live with it. When you first come back, everything's really exciting. And what I've found is, is by just putting it aside, doing a different project, then looking at it, then you can really edit. You have that distance you need. But this takes me several years. Um, it's still in progress, but I've never shown the work before. In the old days, I used to use an eight by 10 camera, wooden camera, you'd have to load film into the, the backs, put the hood over your head, you focus. A picture like this it was impossible to take. Old cameras couldn't stop action like this. And two, by the time I'd get it set up, the picture was over. This thing happens in a split second. What's amazing about the new technology that around 2007, when I began this project, is that the cameras have the same quality, even better quality than the old 8x10 view cameras, which is why I used to use that, and I could stop action. And so, one of the things I love about this project, I can do a scale and you can go in and you can see these guys' fingertips and their eyeballs. It's kind of remarkable. It's less about environmental issues or problems and stuff, but more like about kind of remarkable human nature um, to, to fly too close to the sun. There's something about that that's problematic and challenging, but also quite beautiful. Um, I, it, they're so graceful. It's, it's like a dance they do in, in nature, and it's just extraordinary. Mm -hmm.